Hi friends, it's Nathan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So another video on the series Spilling the University where uh, my friends and I share what it's like to be a student at various Canadian universities. Uh, you can find the whole playlist linked above or in the description box below. Uh, but today's video is on Wilfrid Laurier University. Now this school is very, very close to where I study. I go to school at the University of Waterloo. So we are in the same city and thus we are essentially uni neighbors. Um, so like we see, like we see so like Waterloo students see golden hawks. Well, warriors see, warriors see golden hawks walking on the street. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> I've asked my friend Meredith to share what it's like to be a Laurier student. So let's hear it from her. Hi everybody, my name is Meredith and I'm currently in my third year at Wilfrid Laurier University in the BBA program and I'm here to answer a few of your questions, so let's get started. So the first question is why did you choose Laurier? And in high school I knew I wanted to do business but I didn't do too much research into what university I wanted to go to. I applied to five schools and in my opinion Laurier was like the best option. I liked the social environment and I knew about the co-op program and that just really interested me and that is why I chose Laurier. So the next question is what is the Laurier campus like and I watched basically all of Nathan's other university videos and I noticed everyone saying that they think that their campus is small but every time I go to Western I think their campus is like huge so Laurier is probably half of Western size maybe I'm wrong but it takes less than 10 minutes to get from one side to the other um, but the nice thing about a small campus is that if you have classes in different buildings then it's so easy to get to um, and all the buildings are pretty much connected so you don't have to walk outside as much um, and that's nice <laughs> question is what is the city like and Laurier is located in Waterloo and there's a lot of students in the city because there's the University of Waterloo, there's Laurier University and there's Conestoga College so you'll meet a lot of students in Waterloo. It's also very easy to get around because if you go to Laurier there's one bus that you need to take and that will bring you to the mall, grocery stores, to all the bars, all the coffee shops, or LCBO, wherever you need to go. There's also a lot of cute um, coffee shops if you're looking for a good study space. My personal favorites are Settlement, DVLB, and Princess Cafe. Doo -doo -doo. Also, I think Waterloo is a great spot to be in if you're looking for a co-op placement because all the major insurance companies have offices in Waterloo. The big four accounting firms all have offices in Waterloo, um, startup and tech companies. So it's good to just look locally. Okay, so now moving on to the academics and the teaching style at Laurier. Um, I think the professors at Laurier, for the most part, they're very nice and very approachable. And in first year, I found it a little bit harder to create a connection or like a relationship with your profs just because you're in such a big class, but the class size gets smaller in second and third year, so it's easier to get to know your profs. Another big difference is that in first year, or at least in my program, um, we had lectures, we had labs, and then we had SI sessions, but in second and third year, we only have lectures. So labs we had for our two core business courses and we had it for calculus and in your labs it's taught by a TA and they just go over all the course content through assignments and quizzes and exercises and SI sessions are an hour long kind of lecture almost taught by an upper year student and they just summarize everything that you learned that week. So in the arts faculty um, I've taken a few courses just as an elective and we didn't have any labs or um, tutorials, I guess. So we just had lecture. I reached out to one of my friends to ask her about the science faculty and about their labs. And she said in first year, they didn't really do much, but second year, it's pretty great. It's very hands-on, especially for bio. And chemistry is pretty comparable to high school labs. 
So next question is what is the residence like and what is the roommate matching program like at Laurier and um, the residences, there's a wide range of residences at Laurier. So we have single dorms, double dorms, and we have apartment styles. So the apartment styles work a little bit weird at Laurier just because they only own one of the apartment buildings, which is Bricker Residence. And the other apartments, I believe they just lease it or rent it off of a property management group. So they're off campus and they're roughly a 10 to 15 minute walk away. The roommate matching program at Laurier, I think it's just pretty random if you know someone going to Laurier or if you just found someone that you want to room with, you can enter that in your application. If not, then they make you answer a few questions, but I don't know. I don't think they really take that into consideration and kind of just match you with whatever fits. Okay, so a little bit about my experience with residents. I had a friend coming to Laurier from high school but we wanted different residence styles. So she wanted to do a dorm and I wanted to do an apartment style. So I went ahead with that. I picked apartment style premium and there's definitely pros and cons. The pros being that it's so much more comfortable to live in an apartment and there's also AC, which is a big deal. And the cons would be, again, it's off campus, which can be kind of annoying when you have a lot of friends on campus. Plus you don't automatically get the meal plan. So you have to make time to go grocery shopping and make your meals, which I didn't do very often. I got matched with four random roommates. So there were five girls in my apartment. One of my roommates dropped out, but I'm still really good friends with her. And the other three, they were very to themselves. So we didn't talk much, but they were chill. Also something to note about your first year residences, they don't let you have any guest over for Halloween, St. Pat's, and homecoming, which can be annoying because obviously you wanna have some of your friends visit. So it's just something to keep in mind. You also can't even go to other people's residences even though you are a Laurier student. So you can only go to your own residence. Okay, so the next question is what is a week like at Laurier? So there's two move-in days and it's usually a Sunday and then there's a Monday. That's based off of what residence you're gonna be living in. Once everyone's moved in, you'll have a floor meeting with your Dons and your icebreakers. Your icebreakers are kind of the orientation week leaders who are gonna be leading you through all the activities. I sent Nathan a picture of the O-week schedule in terms of the events that the school has planned. It's roughly the same year to year. So O-week from a student's perspective, it is such a hectic week and you really need to be able to take care of yourself Obviously, it's a big adjustment. You're coming to a new school, like you're probably just moving away from home for the first time and you're just trying to meet all these people and make all these new friends. I remember my first week at Laurier, just like jumping from one residence to the other and at night, everyone's trying to go to all these parties. It can be really exhausting and if you don't take good care of your physical health and your mental health, you are gonna get sick like I did and that is not fun. So take good care of yourself and it's okay to take a break for a day or two. Like you don't need to go out every single night. Just, I guess like know what you're comfortable with. So the next question is what is the party culture like at Laurier? And I think there's this like misconception that Laurier kids only care about partying and I don't think that's true. <laughs> It's definitely what you make out of it. So if you don't want to go out at all, then like 100% you don't have to and no one's going to make you feel bad about it or like force you to go out. But on the flip side, if you want to go out like every single night, then yeah, you can do that too. So the most popular nights to go out at Laurier would be Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that is for the pub on King or the drink. The pub on King is more of like a bar where the drink is more like a club. Wednesdays there's this new thing called the Uptown Zoo and I haven't been it's like I think they just opened like a few months before school ended um Fridays everyone goes to Dallas and it's like a country club and I don't like country music but it's fun just because everybody's there Saturdays it's really whatever um Sundays is Phil's night so in first year, we just went to a lot of like random house parties and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know where we got these addresses. Like I think people just text them around. Um, yeah, there's also some frat parties and they usually make like a Facebook group for that. 
so yeah with all that being said it's very important to be able to balance like going out with school i think in first year for me i was really trying to keep up with the whole party culture and try to go out as much as i can but i was kind of sacrificing like my grades to a certain extent so i think this year i was able to find a better balance and that's very important so making friends at Laurier, um, I think it's so much easier to find people that you have things in common with in university. <clears throat> as long as you put yourself out there to a certain extent, you'll meet people like every single step of the way. So during a week, you'll meet people through your residence and through a week events. In your program, I think you're automatically going to be friends with some people in your program just because you guys have the same schedules, assignments, and like things in common. Um, ECs is a great way to make friends and even going out to like clubs and parties you're gonna meet a lot of people that way so the next question is about clubs and extracurriculars at Laurier and there are so many clubs at Laurier whatever you're interested in there's probably a club for it the best way to find out about these clubs is through the club fair that they host during your O week not only is it a great way to find out what the club is about but also you get to meet some of the executives and kind of figure out which club fits you the best. I obviously highly recommend joining a club, especially in first year. It's a great way to again make friends and also meet people from different programs and different years. Okay guys, that's it for me. I hope I answered some of your questions and thank you Nathan for having me on your channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me and yeah. Thank you so much, Meredith, for sharing what it's like to be a Laurier Golden Hawk. If that video helped you in any way, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps me a lot. And if you have any questions, uh, make sure to ask them in the comment section below. Uh, I respond to every single comment. And if you're interested in seeing more university-related videos, definitely subscribe. Uh, once the series is over, we have Days in the Lives. We have uh, tips and tricks. Uh, just sharing my opinion and my perspective as a university student. And I'm happy to have you guys on this journey with me but that's it for me thank you and i'll see you friends in the next video bye